why my jacket was smelling so bad earlier on. I left some old bait in my actual raincoat. We are at Mission Rocks. Let's go and have some fun. We've walked 2.7 k's, we had first bats. This is our competition day, our competition has already started. Um, I'm gonna try quickly for a couple of stone bream over here in the water, get on the board first. But the nice part about bats is that lovely cave over there. And you can hear the bats from here as well. So when you go in there, be very quiet, have a look up. I'm gonna send my cameraman in to go and have a look, old Carl. He's gonna go and do a little bit of a recce inside there. Hopefully there's no, um, Leopard that will attack him there. I've got my fishing partner today is uh, old Yaku. It's the first time he's fishing. Welcome Yaku. Um, he's going to be fishing with us and we're going to see what's going to come out. What do you think about the conditions Yaku? I like the rolling water. There's uh, a lot of rolling water coming in. Water's oh. quite rough. Uh, I really think that you're going to get a couple of fish here. I've just seen a lovely stone bream, must be at least a kilo and a half from down that wave there. So I'm gonna go and catch him. First fish, first bait. Well, I need to get my bait ready. <laughs> it is low tide at the moment. We will be making our way through to Kwashele on the other side, just by second bat. But looking at the size of that stone bream I've just seen there, I think it's gonna be hard to get me away from here. I'm gonna get a couple points on the, the deck here quickly. We have some langos. There we go, got enough langos for the time being. Bait buddy box here, yeah? just to show you guys. When you're doing the scratching, basically your bait goes in there, your cotton goes in. And yo! I've just seen a couple more stone beam that actually look even bigger. If you have a look at the water, you see that white water, there comes a wave now, rolling, 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 right there. There's definitely, look at the stone beam there. That little pinnacle rock, there's some nice stone beam there. So all I'm doing, Taking it out. I haven't even got my sinker on my, <laughs> my trace yet. I'm a bit slack. I'm using my old faithful 8 foot crossfire. Um, 4.5 kilo maximum nylon as my snooting. 10 pound J braid with my little 3000 BG reel over there and the 10 pound gator braid which I find for this kind of fishing is absolutely awesome. I just need a sinker. Can't catch a fish, you've got no sinker. This is primarily a cold water species, got very rubbery lips, you see those teeth are used for grazing purposes, go put him back, got lovely long pecs for fighting against the current and in the rocks, quick maneuverability, V-tail, lovely bands on it, lovely little fish. I'm looking for a 
it to be a lot bigger than that. I'm using Lango tails at the moment that we get from FK Marine. You can see how nice and opaque that uh, prawn is at the moment. Lovely, 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 lovely. bottom there so basically we're just walking to the next little spot and see if we can't get some fish there we just walked another 30 meters further down I kept on losing the big fish there getting cut off in that reef with this light tackle uh, Yaku got a nice stone bream uh, yeah. I'm basically just coming out of that foul area to more of a sandy area the water is definitely warmer than yesterday it's a lot warmer than yesterday actually so I'll try and get those bigger stonies over here more sand around got more chance of landing the actual fish and again thanks to Atkin for this lovely red prawn that I'm using now the bites have been fast and furious but landing them has been the problem let's just have a look quickly if I can land one of these things they're all over a kilo the ones I'm looking at in the waves every now and again all over a kilo I'm going to jump rock rock and have a look see what I can do here. Another little black tail, not what we're looking for. Well, my main target species is eel tail barbel, which we catch a lot of at night time. You get a lot of speckles, which I think is everybody's target species when they come here. You catch a big speckle, that's their goal. You do ever get a lot of stumpies, pompano, a lot of small fish in and around this area. But definitely for me, eel tail barbel is going to be the most productive one that I can target at night. And there comes the rain again, look at that weather coming in. Hey, we're going to get wet this afternoon. Past first bags, the 800 meters, and I found a lovely little place here with a lot of karma water in it. And I've tried for again, obviously, stone bream, but there could be a little bone fish in this little pool here. There could be almost anything. Now, I don't actually know what's going to bite, but I've got great confidence we'll get a fish here. Another lovely boulder pad. Looks a lot bigger than the last one. There was a 29 centimeter boulder pad. So I'm getting there. Walking along, we're almost at batch two, and in the waves are just lit up with stone bream, like a thousand stone bream that you cannot believe all over a kilo, maybe even going on two kilos there. There we go, boys. This is what we came here to catch this fish here. This is what I came to catch anyway. Somewhere before I can measure. But there we go. That's 
That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, guys. coming out now these little black tail but that's not what I'm trying for I'm trying for those those what's names over there hey. and these black tail are harassing me the stone beam don't have a chance to actually get to the bait here that's the problem well, it's been quiet on my side um, it's a lot uh, very sanded up so it's a, just after the ledge there's a lot of sand so it seems like there's not a lot of fish there's a lot of sand, um, stone beam just over the lip, uh, which Ray is targeting on the lighter tackle. Uh, but I'm actually waiting to see if that kingy that we saw earlier splat, uh, splat, hitting the mullet. I'm actually waiting to see if I'm gonna uh, hook into that one there. Um, other than that, I'm actually trying to target something like a rock art or something a bit bigger. Lovely little goat fish here and he gets his name from those two little tassels that come down and he feeds in the sand like this finding little um, molasses little shellfish and that lovely little pretty fish um, very hard fish hard scales hard everything it's a very hardy fish indeed but one of the prettier species that you find around here he's gonna go and stick him back in the water there oh. lovely little fish Basically, we are uh, far second bats at the moment. The sea is still raucously big. Side wash is extremely strong. I'm using my Poseidon edible rod, my 5,000 J braid uh, 20 pound. I've got uh, a 100 pound leader on. Standard little 5 ounce sinker. My 4.0 ring sui. I'm gonna go straight there and see if there's a stumpy or something just over there. This water's looking a little bit better. I'm actually thinking of going more to the right here. We'll go and see if we can get a fish there. There comes a squad of people. The land fishing here as well, and there they're all coming. Okay. <laughs> From Kobe, got it on broad, pink broad. Ah, uh, yeah, on the ledge. Lovely fish, well done, my man. Thanks. Well done. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna go and wait. Ah, wait. Okay, basically, I've just hooked the fish now, quite a nice one. It's give me a lot of head shakes. One astronaut, boys. Or three spotted pompano, as we like to call it. 
lovely fish. All the kingfish like to eat this bait. A lovely bait for kingfish if you want to use it live. Got the, the dots on the side. Very fast little fish. Well done, Jacko. that's come out. Hopefully we catch a lot more of these this evening. It's undersized unfortunately for me to even weigh or measure. Lovely big eyes, a very visual hunter, strong tail, big mouth, very big mouth. Now 3.30, got a handful of small fish, nothing fancy, the bite has gone off, the tide is getting high, 7 o'clock is full high here. Yeah? Just before full high I'm going to be throwing a big raggy bait in that hole, there's a lovely hole, but the current is still screaming quite a bit. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see if we can actually get over there. But the sea is calming down quite nicely, flattening out. So hopefully we get a bite later on when it gets dark. But at the moment I'm playing bay squid here and no bite. So yeah, there's a lovely little bit of white water working there. The rain looks like it's now dissipating. The sky is still a bit overcast. The water's cold, fish aren't feeding. Fish definitely aren't feeding. But we carry on. Regardless, that's why we fish competitively.